mobile marketing. This is the same idea that we just mentioned, but now we talk about it specifically in the part where you sort of carry it in your pocket, right? In your with your smartphone or your iPad or effective or beginning today. Today's the first day that you could launch. You could um, you could order a Apple Watch, right? So mobile marketing is all of those kinds of things that you have the virtual digital world with you when you walk around and, and, and interact in the real world. If you think about it, that's different than you know sitting in your office or sitting in the library and going in and diving into the real world through the face of your laptop, your PC or whatever. It's now taking that world with you when you walk around and go do things. And that's a different, a whole different level when you think about it, a, quali a qualitative leap in the integration of our digital lives with our real, or real lives. Increasingly, in stores, people use their phones, they search for the products they're looking for, they find a better deal, they find what kind of features they have. Um, there's different ways to do that. This again becomes a brand new challenge for marketers because you have all the problems and issues and challenges and new things that I was describing prior in prior sections here. Um, but you also have them in the store while you're taught while you're observing the product you might buy or while you're talking to the salesperson who is telling you things that you can fact check, if you will, the whole way along the line. You can see the, the, the amount of marketing in this mobile world is increasing $1.2 billion in 2011. It's certainly doubled or more than doubled since then. There's all sorts of, um, of ways that things will be, that you could take advantage of this, uh, these new technologies. And you can see the, the people that are using these, um, tremendous percentage of them um, in the U.S. marketplace that are, um, and in the, in the global marketplace that are using uh, these kinds of technologies. And again, that's sure to continue to increase. You add no, the, the Apple Watch and the other sorts of wearable technologies and it expands even further. So all of the issues that we were describing, all the potentials that we talked about with respect to the digital world are now available wherever we are as we do commerce. Some of the marketing tools that are unique in a sense to the mobile idea is uh, is text messages or SMS messages. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get annoying uh, text messages that are trying to push things or sell things to me that I don't know how they got my number. Um, but anyway, that's another way that you can connect. You get the text message and you can then click on the text message and get a, and go in and get an app downloaded, whatever. Um, you have multimedia messages that can come, you know, this, these things that kind of pop up as messages on your phone. Uh, there's advertisements. You can download video advertisements. You get advertisements when you're doing a website or some sort of an app that you're working on. Um, all these different, uh, different ways that technology is now augmenting our life. The store you're in, the gas station you're in, the bus you're on has where you're at can be giving you information that's unique with with gps unique to where you are and who you are we already said it can be unique to who you are now it can also be unique to where you are so where you are and who you are um, with the with the location-based networks and then of course you have uh, mobile applications which allow you to do banking allows you to do apple pay to pay you pay for all your bills. All these sorts of things that are only beginning, they're only um, starting to develop and uh, and will continue to expand at, at a very rapid rate. Once again, those of you that are familiar with the use of these and how they work and how they don't work are the ones that will be shaping how the commerce going forward um, is um, would treat or it takes advantage of these types of situations. Um, applications, mobile apps, they have native applications, which means these are the ones that exist on a particular platform. You also have hybrid applications that you can work on both the, the um, Android phones and the, 
the BlackBerry phones and the Apple phones, but uh, and you have app web-based applications that show up through your browser on your on your uh, on your phone. All these different approaches that allow people to have access to all this digital media while they're while you're off and the and doing your thing anywhere you are, whenever you are, uh, spreadsheets or whatever. Um, there's a there's a tr there's a tremendous number or tremendous a tremendous shift in how people are uh, accessing or gathering what information and the the, uh, the product specifications and the like and what they need and how they're uh, likely to be using these things going forward. Um, last thing I wanted to mention in here is this these QR codes. There's likely to be other things like it. These are things where you see a product in a store. You can take your phone as a QR reader. Many of you probably already know this. Um, there's a QR reader. You can take your smartphone. You can use the reader, click on it. It goes right to a website and gives you specific information about it. It may even give you a coupon about how you get a discount since you use the QR code. There's all sorts of ways to connect the physical world with the digital world, and this QR code is certainly one of them. Um, again, allowing us to reconnect to or to connect our digital life with our physical life in ways that were never ever possible any time before the last five years and that includes getting particular these widgets or bits of software or information that you can download you can get a, some software from uh, from an internet application that then you can use physically in in a um, in the, in the retail establishment you're in potentially like get something to download it you can unlock some services or whatever or get a special discount there's all sorts of possibilities that that your generation and those that are in the digital marketing area will be developing and thinking about and innovating um, over the next several years pretty exciting stuff um, uh, sorry about that so let's take a minute So far, 